Hey you! Yeah, you! Are you a Solana NFT collector? And do you like free money? Who doesn't, right? I might have something for you. Let me show you. Boom. The Solana Fee Redeemer. A nice little program that I developed. Because you might have realized whenever you send a token on Solana, you pay network fees. And when you send an NFT, that transaction fee is significantly higher than a normal transaction. The good news is though, that you can get those fees back. So it's not free money, but it's money that you already spent, that you can reclaim with the fee redeemer. Let me show you how this works. It's super simple. You go to loopcreativeandy.github.io slash fee redeemer. Make sure it's the right address. Don't get scammed. Load that page and then hit connect wallet. And then you can connect the wallet of choice and you will be greeted by my face needing approval. And then you will get to see this screen, which tells you how many empty token accounts you have. So whenever you send an NFT, you end up with an empty token account. Each of those is worth approximately 0.002 Sol, which in my case is 0.035. And if I want to get that money out, then I just click redeem. Now don't worry if you don't get out all of it in one transaction. It already tells me that I need two transactions for that. Currently the maximum is 16. So as soon as I have 17, I need two transactions. And this is super simple. Just click redeem and then you will see this. That's the maximum that it can redeem in one transaction. You can also have a look what actually happens in the background. There's just a lot of closed token accounts, closed token accounts, closed token accounts. Now, if you want to learn more about how this all works and learn more about accounts in general on Solana, I made a video about that. You can go check that out if you're more interested in technical things. If you're just here to reclaim some money, you hit approve. But before, it might be worth checking that down here, this instruction is my fee redeem counter ending in C2. That's just allowing me to count how much Sol has already been redeemed. And really it was just a programming exercise for me. Also, don't wait too long because then uh, the block hash is not correct anymore. It will not work. Sorry, we're not doing a technical video here. So cancel. Now let's get through this together. Redeem. Make sure that those colors here are green. I mean, there is a way how you can also fake that, but yeah, just make sure you're on the right page or even host it yourself and then hit approve and then you will see it tells us that some Sol has been redeemed and it already suggests the next transaction to approve. Now that is just one more token account you see 0 0.00204 that's for one more token account and if we approve that as well then we redeemed all the soul that we can redeem on this account. See there was one left to redeem in one transaction. When it sends it to the blockchain it can't immediately get the newest state back so you need to wait like 30 seconds and then refresh the page and then you see how many empty token accounts you still have. We don't have any anymore but the counter went up and we now, shit I didn't check that in the beginning but we had 20 cents and now we have three dollars and 46 cents. So that's three dollars and 20 cents that we made just by those 17 empty token accounts. Now think how much money you could get back if you have hundreds. So yeah, check out the fee redeemer, see how many empty token accounts that you have to reclaim your soul. Let me make myself a bit bigger again. Yeah. By the way, all of the soul goes to your wallet. I don't claim any of it. Like I could have easily implemented getting a percentage, but I didn't because I want all the money to go to you. I also really don't mind if you build your own fee redeemer. In fact, I encourage that. It's a learning experience. And by the way, the tool is open source. You can check out the source code and run it yourself and bypass my counter as you wish. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I want you to learn about Solana. And secondly, I want to promote what I'm doing. I want everybody to know me as the guy who can teach you 
some Solana basics. So yeah, on this channel I'm making video tutorials about Solana tools and Solana programming. If you're at all interested in that, go subscribe. If you need help with the fee redeemer, go join the Discord. I have a support channel there, link in the description. And again, I'm not asking for your money, but it would be really cool if you could share this video, tweet about it, share it with your NFT collector friends, such that they can make some money and I can get my face out there. Because that's what I want, getting my face out there. Don't get scammed. Don't blame me if you get scammed. Best strategy is to use a burner wallet. Problem is that a new burner wallet doesn't have old transactions that you can redeem the fees of. So the safest way to go about this is to send all your sol away. You just need sol for one transaction. So that's 0 0.000005 sol for one transaction. That's all you need on your wallet to use the fee redeemer. So send away all your valuable NFTs, send away all your soul and then go use the fee redeemer. Or make sure that you're using the correct program or deploy your own one. I, d I don't mind. I'm just here to teach you that that is possible because so many people just don't know about it. So now you do. Quick little update video from the cliffs of Mallorca. Right now I'm on vacation, but I will get back to making Solana programming tutorials. So follow me on my social media, subscribe here on YouTube, join the Discord and share the fee redeemer with your friends. Now you can still go check out this video that YouTube recommends. Want to learn about Solana accounts? Go there, subscribe to my channel or subscribe to my vlogging channel if you're interested in that. More updates from Mallorca and wherever I go. And yeah, I'll see you around. All right, and that's how you record a video from the cliffs of Mallorca.